Hello world, it's Amasi Sparks, and the 1.26 update for Red Dead Online is finally here. This update includes another Outlaw Pass, Outlaw Pass number 4. This is a 100 rank Outlaw Pass, as well an upgrade to the Bounty Hunter roll. This is an additional 10 ranks to the Bounty Hunter role, uh, known as the Prestigious Bounty Hunter License. In today's video, we'll be going over just a quick and dirty rundown of all of the items within the Outlaw Pass to see if it's worth it, and as well, the rank unlocks for the new Bounty Hunter role upgrade. I'll be showing the, just the basic things, uh, how to purchase the Outlaw Pass, how to unlock the new Bounty Hunter role, and then just basically my thoughts on, every, on the update and if everything's worth it. Alright, let's jump into the video. So first we'll jump into the benefits section and we'll get some information on the new Bounty Hunter role. Available now, the expanded Bounty Hunter license, 10 new ranks with new role items and more. The prestigious Bounty Hunter license, purchasable from any bounty board, adds 10 new ranks of progression with new skills, horses, weapon variants, and more. Should you reach Bounty Hunter rank 30, you'll continue to accumulate Bounty Hunter XP, which can be traded for Red Dead Online money and gold in the awards menu. Oh my, mind blown. Good start right there. So you can farm gold and money after you finish the roll or max it out at rank 30. That is, that is great. And as well, we can see, I believe this is the weekly benefits for this week. Uh, we have 30% off all horses, stable slots, and saddles. 30% uh, off selected weapons, 40% off outfits, including roll outfits. That's handy because there's some nice roll outfits included. In order to purchase the Outlaw Pass number 4, just go to the catalog. On the first page, it'll be the first option. Wheeler, Rawson & Co. Select that, and bam, it's right there. So, 40 gold bars, the Outlaw Pass number 4. The Outlaw Pass number 4. Join up now. Experience luxury through the winter months with the Outlaw Pass. Upgrade your Wheeler, Rawson & Co. Club membership now and earn the trappings of a dashing outlaw sophisticate. What? <laughs> Members who sign up for the Outlaw Pass will receive an array of new rewards including luxurious warm clothing, suitable for cold weather, new satchel and skill pamphlets, advanced photography enhancements, bonus cash, special offers, and much, much more. You can also earn up to 30 gold bars, high quality, true value. All right, uh, one thing to consider before we get into some of the best items in this Outlaw Pass is uh, that if you purchase this Outlaw Pass by December 7th, uh, you will get a 10 gold bar rebate as well as $400 Red Dead Online. So right away, the, the Outlaw Pass if you get it before December 7th, only costs 30 gold bars. So yeah, we'll keep that in mind for later when we ask ourselves, is, is this w worth it? Now, as for some of the unlocks in the Outlaw Pass, these are some of the best unlocks uh, thus far in the game that I've seen. Some of, some of these things I'm sure players have just been begging for. I know for a fact, uh, at rank 1, you unlock the efficient cooking and I have been begging for this. I was just talking about this the other day. It's so boring crafting your own meat. I wish they would add a frying pan, I said. And basically they've done just that. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the best unlocks in the Outlaw Pass. If we went over every item, we'd be here all day. And some of them are kind of just throwaway items like ammo and uh, new photography filters and things of that nature. So, but anyways, you can see there's money tiers. Uh, in this pass, as well as gold, you earn up to 30 gold bars so long as you complete the pass. You got your usual discounts for roll items, uh, components for weapons, and things of this nature. Some new horse mane options and mustache option I saw. We'll have to take a look at that. You can see here is one of the first clothing items unlocked, uh, the load-in chaps, pretty cool. A steel mask, which rightfully probably should have been in the last update, come to think of it. <laughs> oh, and here we go, here's one of the best ones, the ammo pouch upgrade for the shotgun. 
Oh my god, how long have we been asking for this? Thank you, Rockstar. I am so pumped for this. <laughs> there are different flag variations for the camp. Some pretty sick belt buckles, gotta say. And another ammo upgrade for the rifle. This fucking sick coat. Fur coat. Washwood fur coat, to be exact. You, I, you know I'm going to be buying that in multiple cuts. That looks amazing. Some matching gloves to go with your fur coat. There's a variety of new emotes. Ooh, a pistol ammo upgrade. And finally, probably the absolute best unlock is Wilderness Travel. Learn to fast travel from your Wilderness Camp. So if you have the, the Wilderness Camp unlocked, you can basically fast travel from anywhere on the map now. Pretty much. I mean, pretty much. I mean, bravo, Rockstar. That's awesome. What These items are seriously awesome in this pass. We're not even at the Bounty Hunter items yet. Speaking of the Bounty Hunter items, let's take a look now at the Bounty Hunter expansion. So as Rockstar mentioned in the benefits section, we should just be able to purchase this upgrade from a bounty board. Let's check it out. And yeah, there it is, uh, 15 gold bars. Let's see what it says. Dutiful gentlemen and ladies of Lemoyne, New Hanover, West Elizabeth, New Austin, and Amberino, your state needs you. Do not sit idly while felons and reprobates roam free. Become a registered bounty hunter of the United States. For those esteemed citizens already known to law enforcement, uphold your name and progress your career with a prestigious bounty hunter license. Brave agents of the United States, we salute you. All right. Purchase the upgrade with the X button prompt. And as you can see here, the third bounty poster is cycled over to just a regular bounty, although it does look like a new one. Um, so it should be the new bounty uh, bow. I, I don't know how to pronounce it yet. I haven't played it. It should be the bounty that you're seeing up in the corner there, but it's not displaying correctly. However, to fix this, just fast travel to another bounty board. You can see I fast travel to Valentine, and it works fine. All right, cool. Now that we've purchased it, let's take a peek and look at uh, some of the cool rewards. So there's a new uh, variation of the bolas, it looks like. Wow, three new variations of the bolas. New paint for the bounty wagon, holster, a horse saddle, spurs for your boots, another gun belt, eye patch, of course. And the top one here, another satchel upgrade for provisions. You can now store more items in your provision pouch. A uh, belt buckle for rank 25, as well as this sick brass knuckle. A uh, slick outfit, uh, another wagon paint job, and this slick Lamat revolver variant for the final unlock, as well as some new uh, spinny emotes you can see up here. Your gun spinny tricks. All right, so the question is, is the update worth it? In my opinion, and let's start with the outlaw pass, Without a doubt, the Outlaw Pass, yes, is worth it. If you have the gold to get it now before December 7th, then it's basically free. You earn 30 gold bars back during the progression of the pass, plus you get a 10 gold bar rebate if you pick it up before December 7th. So basically, you're earning your 40 gold bars back, and you get all the items and unlocks. So yes, for sure, it's worth it, provided you know you have the time and are going to be able to max out the Outlaw Pass. And is the bounty hunter roll worth it? 15 gold bars to upgrade? Yes, for sure. I mean, what what have we been doing for the past, whatever, five months? We've been hunting animals and we've been sedating the same animals over and over again. Oh, a new legendary bounty every week is, is going to be amazing. So yes, for sure, I, I say it is worth it. The items are pretty slick the provision of satchel upgrades that's always worth it and just the fact of being able to participate in the weekly legendary bounties for sure worth it i'm down but anyways that that's just my thoughts on the update 
I'm curious to know what everybody else is thinking about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Uh, and I look forward to some uh, Legendary Bounty content. We gotta check out that new Legendary Bounty that just released this week. Uh, and then weekly Legendary Bounty content from here on out. Feels good, man. Feels good. Red Dead Online is back in action. Whoa, that's it for the video. Don't forget to like the video. Anybody that's not currently subscribed, don't forget to subscribe on the way out. And a huge shout out to all the channel members. Thanks, guys. Uh, and I guess we'll see you later this week with some new legendary bounty content. All right, guys. Until next time.